there to get the baby. I cannot understand. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back with another wig tutorial. This is a middle part um, wig tutorial with a closure. So I've got in an a 20 inch, 18 and a 16 inch with a 14 inch closure. So yeah. I wanted to do this off camera but I thought I'll show you guys how I did this because I've never filmed a wig tutorial with a closure on my channel so I thought I'll film it and show you guys how I got this um, middle part wig tutorial. This is super perfect for beginners that want to start making wigs because this is a closure. You can't really go wrong with a closure compared to a frontal which is more difficult. So I thought I'll show you guys how I got this wig with a closure. So yeah. I really like I really like the way this look um, would turn out. So hope you guys find this video helpful. I'm gonna list everything you're gonna need if you wanna make your own wig in the description box as usual. And also if you want to make it this wig, my email is always in the description box. You can always get in contact with me and yeah. That's all I have to say. Hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. So let's just jump right into the video. As you can see, I've already secured my closure onto my wig cap. And I'm using a um, adjustable wig cap, not a dome cap. I don't use dome cap. I don't really you know why I don't use dome cap. I don't really use dome cap. I use a normal wig cap. So yeah, I've already secured my closure. And I'm starting to sew from one side of the closure upwards. So I'm just going to sew until I get to the middle. That's when I'm going to stop. So as you can see, I just keep sewing upwards and around the closure. Obviously, you won't sew the front part of the closure. Just in case you don't know, you don't sew the front part of the closure. Now that I've reached the middle, I'm going to start sewing from the other side of the hair, the closure, and I'm just going to sew upward again until I get to the middle and connect those two um, threads together. And as you can see, I'm using the blanket stitch method because that's what works best for me. And for this hair, I'm using a three bundle and a closure. I'm gonna leave a link um, a link to where I got the hair from and everything in the description box as usual. Um, I'm gonna tell you the length I'm using. I'm using a 20 inch, it's um, 18, 16 and a 14 inch closure. Now that I've connected those two threads, I'm going to go ahead and tie the thread together to secure it in place. And that's your closure sewn on. That's how you get. So your closure on, I guess. And we're done with the closure. I've already sewn on two bundles of the hair, so now I'm going to go ahead and sew on the third um, bundle. I don't really want to bore you guys without two. How I sew my tracks on because I already got two videos on how to do that already, and I'm gonna leave them in the description box if you guys want to see how I sew my tracks on. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this track on. Um, I didn't double my weft at any point in um, during making this wig. I did single track all the way, which makes it look more flat. But you don't really have to do single track because it takes longer. But you don't really have to. I also did the flip over method, I didn't cut my tracks at all because I don't want it to shed at all. So what I did when I um, fold it over to make it flat is that 
I go through, I pull my needle through the track, to the weft, to the weft, I don't know if the weft or track, but I pull my needle, um, needle to the weft and secure this, like you see, and it makes it lay flatter because when you go to the weft, it makes it lay flat, which is what I did all the way. Because sometimes your wig can look bulky at the side if you don't really, you know, do it properly when you fold it over. So I'm just going to keep sewing. Now that I'm at the top, I'm going to show you guys, you know, how I do it. I just kept on sewing as usual, like normal. Now I'm just gonna cover up uh, my sewing because I'm done now. I'm at the top, so I'm just gonna sew the last, you know, track that I'm sewing to the closure. If you guys get what I'm trying to say, so I'm just gonna sew it to the um, back of the closure. You guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. So like so, I can't just do it then. Just gonna sew it onto the closure. You're a really cool girl, I got a really good taste that Ha, she feeling my way You give stuff to her friends, say she's feeling my face Ha, she's feeling my place She want to be with me when she's feeling high rate Back at you come back again What's up with me, pay a rook when he chichi She looking very hot in my yellow Lamborghini You get the way Hey, baby carry the gold for a bad man See the way she the gold for Now that I'm done, I'm just gonna sort this a couple of times and I'm gonna go through the um, weft again to make sure it's properly secured and I'm gonna cut off the long thread and just tie it together and I'm done I don't really want to cut this hair but you know I had like the tiniest bit of hair left so I just cut it off and that's your wig done so now I'm done now I'm gonna go ahead and co-wash it I didn't co-wash it at the start I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and co-wash it with my Gaye um, shampoo and conditioner now that my hair is wet, I'm going to, you know, do my pattern because it's much easier to do it like this while it's wet. Because when the closure is dry, you just want to do its own thing. So it's much better to, you know, do your pattern when, you're, when your hair is wet. So now I'm going to go ahead and pie it. Now I'm going to put this got to be oil that's got argon oil in it. I'm going to put this in my hair. I only use like two drops. I didn't use too much because I don't want my hair weighed down by the oil. So I only use like the tiniest. Now I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair. Because I want it to be super, super, duper, super bone straight. So, else, if you blow dry it, then air dry it. Because you can get so wavy pattern in it when it's, you know, air dry. Now my hair is completely dry. Look how full this hair is and thick. Now I'm going to go ahead and strain my hair. I'm just going to section it and strain it. 
and that's what I'm doing. She be taking the slow for a bad man When she dropping the glow for a bad man Nah, 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 nah So I've gone ahead and straightened most of it on camera because obviously I just don't want to be boring you guys and like making you guys watch me straighten my hair like you know so I've gone ahead and straightened most of it on camera and I'm just gonna do the top part now I'm moving on the closure which is very crazy right now I'm gonna define my pine again and I'm just gonna you know Train the closure. Now I finished straining one side of the closure. Look how crazy the other side look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> now that I'm done with my wig, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace and the wig cap, cap that's in the closure. If you guys get what I'm trying to say, I'm showing you guys. So I'm gonna go cut off the lace in the wig cap. Wow, that, that was hard. And now I'm gonna cut off the um, lace at the front as well, now that I'm completely done with my wig. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on, and I'm done with my wig. <laughs> 